30 in the morning and we are heading towards maybe some cafe oh because I lost the city maybe. that's what happened in 400 feet turn right onto North Carolina 184 North the breakfast. Pictures on the wall were of that area skiing resorts covered with snow. Some shots of avalanches on these mountains.
time to enjoy our breakfast. Deciding on where to head next, and, and we gonna head towards, I guess either Alpine Coaster. That's what the plan is so far. So let's see what happens. Light rain drizzling cooled down the summer heat a lot, which made us to wear our jackets. We just came to a place called Mystery Hill. It's like one of the places which has a gravitational phenomena. Like uh, you put a ball, it will go uphill. You can lean down on a 45 angle degree and you don't fall down. This is another place called Tomahawk Hill. They have an archery over there. So let's go inside and see if that place is open or no. All right, guys, come on, let's go. It's located at Bowling Rock. Hands clean, right? Yeah. You always do that. You always do that. And, and it's so sweet. I should talk. Talk a lot. I don't know what happened. They're so cute. Nobody likes this camera. Do you think people should come here and do this with you? So yeah. This is the channel called Spectrum News. All right. And there's a room where you can stand inside a bubble. Waiting for us. Have fun! So she's going to be our guy. Yes. <laughs> After you, ma'am. Alright! Good morning, everybody! How are we all doing today? Good, good, good. Mystery Hill. We have been a tourist attraction here in Blowing Rock for 72 years now. It's been a good run. We want 72 more. Before that, this place was an apple orchard owned by the local Hudson. And they would start rolling uphill. Which I don't know about you folks, but that's not quite the right direction for that. And it really confused the Hudsons. And you know, they didn't have internet back then. Yeah. You this is the second largest private collection of arrowheads in the world. Upstairs of that, we have the Doherty House. Home of the founders of Appalachian State University, where I go to school and I see some App State represent. And that was the first house in this county with electricity, running water, and to make a telephone call. And depending on your ticket, you may be getting an old timey photo taken. You may go throw tomahawks up a tomahawk hill. Either way, you're going to be having fun, and I won't keep you from it any longer than I have to. Just don't leave it. I like it. That doesn't be too dramatic. So, Sir Osmond. He had a British accent, so he talked like this a little bit. One day, he was sitting at the bottom of an apple tree, 
He was minding his own business, reading a book, probably in physics. stuff is for the moon shining stuff <laughs> You wanna go? Alright, right. come, Fair, you, you said. Directly across, and they may not be able to tell, but y'all should. Yeah. Alright, and then I want you to. Fair, look on her, or look on the face. And then take a switch. Alright, now switch, switch your switch. spots. Okay, I want you to stand here, and I want you to stand there. Go switch your spots. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I think I gave you the miracle, bro. How did I do that? <laughs> Yeah, when you stand there, you get tall. You want to get tall? Take a switch. Wow. That was fun. Yeah, He's really good. So, you guys, I have a brief safety thing to go through right quick. I'm going to ask while we're inside the house. Please no running, please no jumping. It's easy to take a tumble, and if it's you versus the wall, the wall is gonna win. <laughs> we have some handrails to hold on to. We sanitize them after every group goes through. And I would ask that you start off holding on to the rails. That gives you a chance to get used to the room. That gives me a chance to run a demonstration for you. Uh, well, without further ado, let's go. Let's go break gravity. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this now is this is So, this one is supposed to be that gravitational thing where like everything is like, you know, defy gravity. It totally defies gravity. This reminds me of the original. Okay, she's almost like 45 to the end. This vortex room certainly had gravitational phenomena, felt like something pulling you.
she's struggling with the gravity, see? She's been pulled back. Okay, so now, if you could see, this is actually going up the pipe. So now I'm gonna put in the water. The water gonna actually go up. And that's the gravity. And this swings, it actually goes backward by its own. Go here and see what happens. Going up all by itself. I guess this is enough of this gravity to find room. It's crazy, eh? Miss Freehu. If you like this place, share our video, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Standing is the wall, and on the count of three, they're gonna leave the wall, but their shadow will be there. One, two, three. <laughs> on the count of one, two, three, go. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three.
most important family that ever lived in the region. They uh, grew up dirt four poor, born in 1869 and 1870. So anyway, the two brothers, they grow up dirt four poor, but they go off the mountain, they get their PhDs, and they decide to come back to Boone to give back to the community because Boone doesn't have anything at all. Um, there's no roads and are out of Boone. There's no train, there's no electricity, nothing. So what winds up happening is they come back in 1899 and they start a school. And that school is so successful that by 1903, they have state funding for that school. And through the school, they bring in electricity, running water, phone service, a train, 321 and 421 get built, all the roads to the area get built. Now we're heading for the Tomahawk. And then we're gonna head back. for some tomahawk throwing and he was pretty natural at it. We decided to go for some short hiking trails. Kids enjoy the presence of fog and mist a lot. So we have come to another spot. It's pretty much foggy as you can see all around. So let me show where it is. It's the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's a national trail. You need your help. What do you think? Okay, so she was talking about the frozen two enchanted forest. I like because it. of the fog. Because of all this mist and fog around it. Okay, just be careful on this day.
we did it like in a mile and a half the battery almost died there and it started raining and it rained a little bit so now we're heading back the kids got a little bit tired so we decided not to do that four mile trail pretty muddy the whole track was pretty muddy throughout because it rained the whole day go me That's what she's talking about. She's calling a teeny tiny waterfall. And a teeny tiny pool. And a teeny tiny puddles. Okay, let's go guys. Keep moving. This way, this way. Come. Came back to hotel as everyone got pretty tired from hiking and mystery hill gravitational effects.